Hello traders at CMC Markets. Welcome to another update by RRG Research for Monday the 13th of February. I'm recording this on Friday the 10th of February. Uh, my name is Trevor Neal and I'm presenting to you from London. Let's start with the major global indices. Today's relative rotation graph is the indices versus a, a benchmark of zero annual return. So this is the absolute performance, not versus the MSCI world, which we sometimes do. And so that's comparing these stock markets versus the world stock markets here. This is the absolute uh, return on the stock markets. And so things on the right are on a relative basis outperforming cash or uh, zero return instruments. So we've got on the left hand side, we've got the NASDAQ and the Nikkei. Nikkei. NASDAQ still under pressure and the, uh, the Nikkei also under pressure. Uh, the Hang Seng, which has been our favourite since it was right round here um, a long time ago, is getting a bit mature on its move. And those of you that uh, uh, have uh, participated in the securities which we drew your attention to uh, many weeks ago, actually last year, I think uh, that all of them have now hit into resistance levels. Not to say they're not going to go higher and they are still doing well on a rel on a base uh, on an absolute basis, but uh, I think that as uh, you might look to take profits on those now that the, this part of the move, the big surge, big swing in relative performance has actually uh, run its course. If we look at the other markets here, you've got something in common with uh, for all of them. They're generally in the leading quadrant. Uh, the Dow has, has moved out of it, but the rest of them are. And but they're heading directly southwards. Um, southwards. Well, so what does that mean? They're right of 100, so they've got relative outperformance. But um, southwards means losing uh, positive momentum. So this is uh, an interesting picture that's going on here. And now I'm going to go down from a weekly sample to a daily sample. Here is the uh, daily sample. So first of all, following on with the um, Hang Seng around here in the weekly sample is in the daily sample, much mature in its move and m moving quite determinedly with long tail here. Uh, so a purposeful move towards the lagging quadrant. And so that is a short term warning message that we are um, urging you to heed. Then um, look at the directions of all of the indices uh, tails. Southwest, 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 Southwest on the S&P, Southwest on the Australian, uh, the CAC West, the um, Dow Southwest. Only, the only one which has got an upward um, a tra tra trajectory is the FTSE. DAX slightly, but uh, the FTSE um, markedly. So it has sort of turned around here. And so this is turning back in the weakening quadrant back towards the leading quadrant. Now that's very interesting, isn't it? As uh, the FTSE itself makes this week uh, for the second time um, uh, new all-time highs. Yes, it's leading the others by making all-time highs, but also getting a little extra push in that too. We'll look at the S&P first because I think that's a very important thing is going on there. But then I want to look at the FTSE and we'll go down to uh, what's left um, that still has good potential. There's plenty of course left with good potential in the FTSE stocks. Starting with the S&P in the US. Uh, now, three weeks ago, the S&P broke its downtrend line. We had a lovely line here uh, from the February high, a year ago's uh, high. Um, it's a weekly chart. High, lower high, lower high, lining up nicely, lower high, breakout, impulsive candle as we broke out, um, follow through. And then this week, we've had some uh, pullback to the uh, 4,100 level, um, holding above the 4,000 4, level. The low, uh, which we can say with uh, now, with the benefit of hindsight, was a reverse head and shoulders. Low, lower low, lower low, lower low, lower low, higher low. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. This downtrend line here, therefore, would be a uh, net, uh, neckline for it. This is 700 points from here to the neckline. You measure up from uh, 4,000, we'll call it the break that point, to measure 
from the neckline to the to the head and then project it from the break point we get up to 4700 in other words the march high uh, again and so that's the projection from the volatility of the uh, the, head, the reverse head and shoulders pattern. Along the way, yes, we've got um, resistance at 4,200, 4,300 a bit. These round numbers um, themselves representing resistance to 4,200 being the, the low of the week before, uh, the high of the week before last. So there is resistance along the way because we have come down. The power on the upside, I believe, is very strong here. Uh, we can see the weekly MACD moving away from its signal line here. So gaining momentum on the upside. That's a strong signal. Also, of course, this is one for your album, not only the head and shoulders bottom, but also a divergence, bullish divergence um, at the bottom. Low, lower, low, low, higher, low here. A very good one uh, there for us. It looks as though this one, this move has got legs, should extend. I won't go into it, but that's not the case for the NASDAQ at all. Uh, Dow is leading, but this is the big, the big index with many more securities in it. It's a powerful break and that uh, should continue to extend. Here is the FTSE. Now um, it's a weekly chart again. Um, here we've got the March 2020 low. We had this uptrend. It was broken with when we had this uh, bearish divergence in the MACD high, uh, higher high in the price and lower high in the MACD. That warned us that uh, we were hitting res substantial resistance. We did ease off quite hard coming down as low as 6,700 at worst um, here. Then the MACD uh, turned up, uh, broke its uh, signal line, turned up and broke the downtrend line across the highs. And that was the reversal signal and the end of the easiness. And then upwards we've gone since then, since um, end of November and um, MACD is powering away uh, from its signal line with a widening gap. We've got a new uptrend in place. It looks steep on this, but not so steep on the daily chart. We made, um, and you were, can't have uh, not heard about, uh, made the break to new all-time highs. Uh, who'd have thought, hey, you know, that su surprises many people, like uh, not going in, maybe not going into recession at all, having had the Bank of England tell us we were going to suffer two years of, of recession. And here we are uh, uh, breaking up to new highs. We've got a resistance at 8,000, but I think it, um, the market seems to have enough momentum and power um, to make that uh, move in, in, in short order. So the FTSE has um, been the unexpected um, best uh, stock market and moving extremely strongly in both in percentage and of course making the new highs as well. Um, it's, a, it's a great move up and it looks like it going further. Now many stocks and we, you know from November we'd, we'd um, been looking for individual names uh, to uh, to capitalize on this. They're all doing well and some of them were at near their highs and they've broken to new highs. Some of them were relatively low but breaking up from base formations and they've broken up as well. So what's left uh, to do? So I've got one stock that I would like to draw your attention to. Shell uh, PLC. Yes, it's come up a lot. It has come up from 900 to 2,500. That's a long way up. But has it got more to go? I think it has. And here's my logic in this. Clearly, we've got an uptrend line. It's a very pronounced uptrend line. We have got uh, so higher lows pattern. We've also got higher lows in the RSI itself. Uh, the, it has just broken through resistance at 2,400, 2,400, this again, again, we flirted through to, to it, went to 2,700, then consolidated at 2,400, but now we're trading at 2,500, so that is now a strong support for it. So we've got the rising low support, we've now got consolidation, you could say a triangle uh, support. On the RSI itself, we've had a high and a higher high and a high and a lower high. So we had a, um, a bearish divergence, which warned us of this consolidation area now. But we're in just very, very, very close to breaking that. And so that, that to say that that is over, that bearish loss of momentum is over. 
Above us, we've got resistance at 2,560. Then um, the uh, highs, two highs in here at 2,630. And then the all time high up here at 2,750. Those uh, are resistance levels that are ahead of us, but the, the, the market is strong and um, it has got the higher lows pattern that we want to see in a market that is going to extend further. Looking to, to the MACD, it too warned us high, higher high, high, lower high, that we were in for a tricky moment, but that seems also to be coming uh, to an end here now as this uh, MACD, weekly MACD, looks like it's about to cross to the upside. This looks like it's about to have another new set of bullish signals well supported uh, behind and so we, we like the look of this one. There is resistance above you know between 2650 to 2752 levels in there but the momentum seems good enough and strong enough to take this one uh, further. I'll leave it there for this week. I thank you very much for listening and watching. Uh, we will be with you again next week. It will be Julius uh, doing it. So goodbye from Julius and de Campanar and I at RRG Research and may the trend be with you.